June is an unpredictable month when it comes to weather, but one thing you can usually count on is water. Whether it's falling from the sky or flowing down the mountains, it's the recipe for a raging river and for kayaking. This early in the season, it's far from bathwater temperature, but these seasoned kayakers try to convince me otherwise. Yeah, I bet it's warm. <laughs> I'm not fooled, so I layer up. Apparently fleece is very important to keep you warm when you're paddling in 40 degree water. So and then I guess the dry jacket that'll hopefully keep some of the water off of me. Whoops. And this is the kayaking outfit. What we're showing you today is definitely higher water. If we were to take you out in August when it's 85 degrees out and sunny instead of 60 degrees and rainy, uh, you would have so much more of a relaxing experience. You know, it's not quite as, quite as intense. Looking for a bit more stability in the fast moving water, we opted for a ducky, which is an inflatable kayak rather than a hard shell, which is a lot easier to tip. Kayaking is something that can keep you fit and gives you some a reason to get outside. There's nothing better than going through a big wave train or running a hard hole or going through a technical line. I mean, once you get through it, you're happy, you're excited, your adrenaline's pumping. But safety is the number one priority when recreating in a high flowing river. And it's important to know exactly what you're getting yourself into and how to get out if needed. A lot of people think they're in control, but the river is the one that's in control most of the time. This time of year, is very fickle. So you need to know the river that you're going down, you need to know what possibly could be there, and you also need to know the river level. The river level changes constantly, but while we were on the still water, it was moving at about 4,000 to 4,500 cubic feet per second. You can easily get wrapped up around a bridge pillar, wind up in a log jam, or go through the wrong way on a big hole and wind up getting sunk down to the bottom. And that's kind of the, the thing that scares people off of the sport. But not for Tyler and Matt. For them, kayaking is a part of life. All aspects of my life, definitely. I love it. I mean, there's a, such a draw to it. And the best thing to do is just get out on the water and see if you like it. There's a lot of people that don't, and there's a lot of people that it turns into a lifelong passion. It's easy to be afraid of an adventure like this, but you never know until you try. And who knows, you might discover a lifelong sport. Near Columbus with photographer Jesse Kester, I'm Angela Douglas for Montana's News Station.